Unity version control. What is it and should we use it? First of all, Unity version control is not Git. It is similar in some aspects, but different in others. But first, let's rewind to 2020. In 2020, Unity took over a Spanish company, which was mainly creating one thing. A version control system called Plastic. A few years later, Unity dumped their own collaboration project, incorporated Plastic into the Unity editor, and what we are left with today is Unity version control. And in the next few minutes, I will try to convince you that it is the better tool for Unity development. So, what is Unity version control? At its core, it's a version control system similar to Git, which Unity is blending more and more into its ecosystem. What does that mean? You will need to understand three pieces. The Unity engine itself, which in Unity 6 has a built-in plugin for version control. The Plastic Client, which gives you advanced options to manage your repositories and some nice visual tools. And finally, Unity Cloud, which will enable collaboration, connect the projects to your Unity ID and enable all sorts of Unity services for the repository. The typical workflow will look something like this. You will make some changes in Unity and check them in into version control directly through the editor. Then in the Plastic app, you will manage and inspect your repository. Here we can do the usual stuff one would expect, like create new branches, resolve merge conflicts, search for stuff and configure some nice visualizations. Finally, in Unity Cloud, we can manage collaboration related stuff, like inviting new members, setting permissions or enabling additional services for our projects. If you consider all of this together as an ecosystem, it makes sense. And my feeling is that Unity has just started with the ecosystem idea and will push further into that direction. Okay. Now that we know what it is, here are a few reasons why we might use it. There are dozens of small details how Unity version control is different from other solutions, but for simplicity I would put them into three categories. The first one being collaboration tools. There is a simplified version of the Plastic Client made for non-tech people which you can use with just a few buttons. Also, Plastic allows you to check out only certain parts of a repository, like for example a specific folder with art assets. Another common problem is merging certain types of assets which are typical for game development, like scenes or binary files. Plastic has several solutions for that smart automated mergers and several merge tools which are automatically chosen depending on the file type. Alternatively, if you want to avoid conflicts for certain file types which are hard to merge, you can define logs which make sure that certain files can only be edited by one person at a time. The second category I would call flexibility for bigger projects. Larger games tend to have large files. Plastic can deal with that easily. Also for really large repositories, it might make a difference whether you set up your version control in a centralized or distributed way. With Plastic, you can do both in one project. 
Some people can push directly to a central repository, while others can have distributed local versions. Plastic can also handle thousands of branches, which are real chain set containers, not just pointers. And finally, the last category, which might even be relevant for you if you are a single dev, is the ecosystem. If you want to be a successful indie dev, you probably want to focus on the core mechanics of your game instead of reinventing the wheel for infrastructure or marketing stuff. Whether it's analytics, tools, multiplayer functionality, in-game ads or typical DevOps utilities, once your repository is in the cloud, you get access to dozens of Unity services. While some of them require a Unity Pro license, there are also several services which you can use for free. You can collaborate with up to three members. You can use 200 free minutes for build automation. Set up merge bots or use services like the Asset Manager. That was Unity version control in roughly five minutes. My summary is, Unity version control is far from perfect, but if you need quick progress, it's the easiest end-to-end -end solution that you can use with Unity. Thanks for watching, and if you want to support the channel, please consider checking out the course we have made on this topic.